Hey guys, how's it going? Clearlander here. I would just like to thank you guys uh, for all the support we got on the pilot episode. It's good to know that at least some people find some entertainment in it. Uh, big shout out to everybody over on the Wow Economy subreddit. You guys are great. Thank you for the support and thank you for the wonderful feedback that you gave me. I'm looking to implement all of that and make the videos a little bit better quality. Now, to give you an update, this is the same guy we did in the pilot episode, Rags to Riches, over here on the Bone Chewer server. We have not been logged in for a little over 24 hours, so that's how long we put in our pattern Hillman's Belt for. And unfortunately, it did not sell. But what can you really expect with one auction? I mean, it's one auction out of thousands of others, so... I didn't have the highest hopes that this thing would sell, but I mean, if it did, that would obviously be quite the kickstart to our series here. We bought this for 7 silver, I believe. Yep, as you can see in the tooltip. And we were looking to sell it for 600, so that's insane. And then we've also got our Sage's Gloves still, which we haven't done anything with yet because we can't repost it due to not having enough uh, silver, I guess you would say. So, what we're going to do right now is go to the auction house and do what we did last time to kick off, and that is just search everything and see if there's anything in the copper category that we can sell back to the vendor or try and actually resell, I guess, that we can get a little bit of profit on. This makes a tiny, tiny bit of profit. Vendor buy price is 24 copper each, and he's selling for 40 for two. So that's going to make us eight copper overall. Honestly, that's decent. <laughs> I mean, it sounds terrible, but anything is profit at this point. So we're just going to buy those for 40 copper, sell them up. Oh god, I've made a terrible mistake. Oh no. Oh Jesus. Alright, it would appear that I screwed up royally. When I saw vendor buy price 24, I could have sworn that meant per banana. So it sh in my mind, it came out to 48 copper. Uh, apparently that was not the case, and we just took a 16 copper hit. Oh boy. That's okay, we will recover. It would appear that nothing else currently sells for more under 39 copper. Uh, we have a few options here. We could buy the unbroken claws, which usually go for like 1 to 3 copper, and we could try to make a profit on that somehow, but I'm not really a big fan of that idea. I think what we're gonna do uh, is take this 39 copper and buy into a vendor item that not many people know is worthless, basically. And then we're gonna take that vendor item and pair it with our two current decent items and try and sell those on Trade Chat. I think that is our only real hope at this point. If we really, really get desperate, we can vendor off the Sage's Gloves or the Hillman's Belt, I guess, and get some silver. And that will give us a little leeway, a little breathing room. But first off, we're going to try and go buy a vendor recipe, or a vendor anything rather, and see what we can do on Trade Chat. I'm not going to lie to you guys, I was trying to Google some quick vendor recipes or vendor items that we could buy and resell on the auction house, but I'm not really finding too much, um, especially not in our price category here. So I'm just going to run through the drag in Orgrimmar and see what I can fetch. We could buy bleach. We could sell bleach. No. While I'm here, I may as well ask if anyone wants to buy some bleach. I mean, why not? You gotta be innovative when you're working with this little amount of money. Holy God, guy. Calm down. So much money for so many of these things. One day. One day, Blacks. Oh, dude, is this where you get the russet bracers? Wow, I never knew that. Okay, I see these all the time on the Undermine Journal for my server because apparently they, I mean, they look decent and apparently people buy them as transmog when they're not aware that they can just come right over here in Orgrimmar to get them. So good little thing to know, I guess. And while I'm here, I may as well shout out that I'm actually selling the Hillman's Belt and the Sage's Gloves. Well, it appears that 39 copper does not get you very far in the world. Who would have guessed? Yeah, I'm not really seeing the uh, resale value in any of this. I'm not sure if there are any patterns or anything for 39 copper. It seems a little unlikely, but 
We'll keep checking. I think we really royally messed up on those bananas. The fact that I'm not able to post things on the auction house because of no deposit just really makes me feel pressured to sell these, like, ASAP. That way I can actually get things on the auction house for when I have to leave or do anything else. Alright, we're dying here. We're floundering a bit. So it looks like we need to resort to some, uh, some heavy tactics. Semicolon willing to provide really good discounts. Oh man, hook, line, and sinker right there. I remember uh, way back in the day when I did some vendor sales, there was snakes that you could buy in the Valley of Spirits there, but I'm pretty sure they were well over 39 copper sell price, but those actually sold decently well, surprisingly enough. So we'll see what we can do. One thing we did just miss with the Feast of Wintervale, we could have bought ice cold milk and sold that. Obviously we don't have enough right now, but in general that was doing really well for people. For some reason people are too lazy to go get their own milk. Oddly enough, I've been on other servers where I've bought stuff like a blacksmith hammer and sold it for X amount of gold. I don't know why people don't go to the vendor, but they just don't. But that was after posting it on the auction house, which currently we can't do, so... <sighs> Keep looking, I guess. I never knew there was an auction near here. Is this is this relatively new? This is news to me. This has probably been here forever. Wow. That's incredible. Alright, so currently I'm going to look through the auction house for things that we could potentially buy if we took a loss on the Sage's Gloves and sold it to the vendor for 15, 14 silver, 51 copper. Alright, so it would appear there is nothing that we can really even get once we would sell these to the vendor that would be of any help to us. No uh, no items that can sell back to the vendor for more. So I guess we're pressing on with the grind here. I could have sworn you were able to buy snakes in this place, I just don't recall where exactly. I guess we'll find it. Oh, uh, okay, he walks around. That's interesting. Oh wow, 47 silver each. People seem to like the black king snake. Good to keep in mind for later. Alright, I found a bank alt that I may be able to convince to buy at a discount. That way they can flip it themselves. Hello. Oh wow, quite an immediate response. Uh, would you like to offer on some items I have? Maybe you could get a greater profit for them. Hook, line, and sinker. Link. Oh boy. We are in there. Pattern Hillman's Belt and Sage's Glove of Intellect Transmog. Give him the old smiley face to let him know that we're really interested in selling him this garbage. How much? Oh man, we are actually in here. Okay, uh, what would you offer? Smiley face, let him know we're not being a dick. One pattern Hillman's Bell to 600G on the AH and there is nothing on Sage? Really? There's no Sage's gloves anymore? Would you like to take it off my hands for a bit less, sir? I would be very interested in that, sir. Please, sir. I don't know why I said there's nothing on Sage. There's two gloves right here going for 577. I don't really care if he offers me like one gold. I mean, <laughs> at this point, you know, how much? All right, he doesn't seem to want to make an offer. Would you like both, or just the pattern? Give him the old sir. Let him know that we're being respectful, gentlemen. Neither? Oh man. Oh boy. Neither. Ah, uh, see, we can't take charity. Ah, oh, man. This is so awkward. I can't accept your charity. But would you like to buy something? Now I feel bad selling him stuff, you know? Because he's obviously going to buy it. Oh boy. How's about we sell it for 100 gold? I think that's fair. Even though we got it for such a low amount, to be fair, they they are worth quite a decent bit more. So I'm trying to be really fair with this, even though we just offered us 1,000 gold. Just put it on AH. Cannot do that, sir. I have 39 copper to my name. <laughs> this is such an awkward exchange. Oh my god. Yeah, okay, 100 gold? Would you like to do 100 gold? Okay. I can do that. I can do that, maybe. Oh, we did it. Oh, wow. Thank you very much. I hope you find a lot of gold. 
in selling them. We did it, ladies and gentlemen. We are finally out of the gutter. We have some gold to mess around with. Oh, man. We can go absolutely crazy with 100 gold. Man, I hope you guys feel like that was fair. I, I didn't know what to do there. It was such an awkward scenario. But, I mean, we got it done. All right, so what I'm doing right now is going to the Undermine Journal and checking the top potential deals for this hour, just like in last episode. That's how we got those two items. And now that we have a bit to mess around with, we can actually probably get some of these items. Two gold and twelve. I don't know, man. That's two percent of my net worth here. However, it is worth a decent bit more. What does it look like? I need to turn Mogget on, actually. I will be right back. Um? Okay. I mean, it's a belt. <laughs> what does the entire set look like? Okay, I can see why people get this. Alright, yeah, we'll, we'll take it. Two gold, twelve. Can't be that bad of a deal. Sparkle shell mantle. Five gold. Well, I mean, apparently it's relatively rare according to Wowhead, and it seems decent looking, so why not? Five gold down the drain. Band of purification. Just read up some comments on Wildhead. Apparently this is pretty good for twink casters, and I know a lot of people like to do level 19 twinks. So I think we're going to go for it, because twinks, twinks have a lot of money to play around with. We could post that up, maybe get a good profit on it. Golem Shard Leggings. Oh, those are cool. I like those. Wow. Those are pretty good looking. Let me just look up their drop rate. Yeah, it would appear these things have a 0.5% drop rate at best. I think that's that's a cool deal. 10 gold for some really cool looking legs, can't complain. Uh, one thing I do want to do is diversify. I know I've picked up only transmog items so far. They're very easy to pick up for less because people don't know their true value. But I do want to diversify. I want to get into some recipes, maybe some pets. Uh, just It's good to have a nice wide portfolio of items. You know what we're gonna do before we go any farther? Let's run Sniper for at least like 10 minutes and see if anything comes up. Because uh, we've got 77 gold, it's better to it's better to snipe when you have more. That way you have more items that can come into the auction house that you can purchase. So I'm gonna leave this running for a good 10 minutes and just see if anything pops up. While I'm doing this, I'm gonna be in the other tabs researching some stuff on the auction house that we can get for cheap via Undermine Journal. One thing I will say right now is that I'm looking at all of these deals, and this place has a lot of good deals on more expensive items. So I'm really looking forward to getting more gold that we can play around with. Oh, we finally got something to pop up. It looks like a pygmy owl that is a bit out of our price range. And also, I don't think that's super worth it. But that's okay, we'll keep checking. Another thing to note is I don't think I have my sniper settings optimally set up, but it does work for me for the most part, but sometimes it does return these um, auctions that are just not worth it. It's just a matter of looking at it and being able to recognize what is worth it and what isn't worth it. Alright, well, I let it run a bit over time, a bit over 10 minutes, and we didn't really find anything we liked, but it was good that some stuff popped up at all. Um, while I was doing that, I was researching a little bit of what we could buy, and I think we're going to get maybe one or two more transmog items, uh, and then we're going to try our best to diversify into patterns, materials, pets, or just whatever we can really afford. Yeah, I was looking at these, and they're supposed to go for a bit more, but they are 15 gold, that is quite a big chunk that is over a quarter of our total liquid assets so I'm not a big fan of buying these even though they could potentially turn a profit uh, this thing was also looking like it may be profitable but that's not very it's not a very good looking staff I like to buy things that I personally would buy even though you shouldn't do that all the time for sure because people have different tastes and stuff but it is nice to be reassured that you yourself would buy something that you're selling. Oh man, 35 gold. 35 gold, but the upside is tremendous. We're talking 1,000 plus gold. And I have sold these before on my home realm. Um, they do sell. Transmogrifiers seem to be rather interested in them sometimes. This is a tough one. 
35 gold is a little under 50% of what we have right now, but the upside, like I said, is gigantic. I think we're going to hold off for a minute and then maybe come back to that. Alright, well, it's been approximately a minute and I've thought about it. I think I am going to go for this, and this will be our last transmog item, hopefully, at least for right now. Um, because the upside is just so gigantic, I can't really pass that up. Uh, I was having some reservations, but I think I'm just going to go for it. There goes approximately 40% of what we have left, but the upside is there. Right now what I'm doing is I'm on the Undermine Journal's deal section, and if you scroll down, there is a potential low bid section for both gear and miscellaneous items. And you'd be surprised, really, how many bids you can actually pick up for dirt cheap. I probably should have looked at this last episode, or at the end of last episode, when we had a few copper remaining that we could play with. Um, just to put it in, because either way, you either get it back, or, you know, if you fail to buy it, you get it back, or you actually get the item, which is a huge boost. Rugged Trapper's Vest, I'm pretty sure that just comes from a vendor. But for three copper, I can't really complain. I was incorrect. It does not come from a vendor. It is actually the starting shirt, or the starting chess piece, rather, for quite a few race class combos. So we went from selling our starting gear to bidding on other starting gear. We have finally come full circle. Good job, guys. We did it. <laughs> that usually goes for anywhere from 6,000 to 10,000 approximately, and it is currently up for 2 gold 50. Now, there's probably no way we're going to get this, but that has so much potential that I think we're just going to place a bid. 2 gold 50? Sure. It's only got 12 hours left, and otherwise I'll forget about it. <laughs> Blue overalls. The farmer look. Okay, yeah, some people definitely do do this for, like, transmog competitions and stuff. I've seen it. Five silver, fifty. Sure. Thunderbrow ring. Oh, wow. Is this another best-in-slot ring that we could possibly buy? Because it's only five gold. That's another strange thing, is you can find some really good uh, buyout deals by looking in the bid section occasionally. And we may have just stumbled on that ourselves. I'm going to look up some more info on this and be right back. Alright, so apparently this is a very good ring for those in the 20 to 24 bracket. And I'm not sure how many 24 PvP twinks there are, but I guess we'll go for it. 5 gold? Why not? Brutish shoulders. More transmog, but it does look decent. I think I'll place down the gold 34 that it requires, and then we'll be done with transmog indefinitely. Not indefinitely, but for right now. Another thing I just realized we could do is use the vendor search feature again to see if there's anything that sells for more to the vendor. It looks like there is, okay. Aquamarines sell for 10 silver each, and this person's selling for 8 silver, apparently. Oh, 2 silver. Oh, wow. I need to learn how to read this. Uh, yeah. Thanks. And then we've got a shadow gem, profit of 50 copper. I can't complain. Sure. Thanks. Everything helps. So now we're picking up everything that we just purchased, plus the two vendor items we just purchased. Honestly, we could also throw them up. Instead of vendoring them, they are rather useful. Let's see what they go for on the auction house. Oh wow, so this aquamarine has... This, this is always interesting. It's got somebody that is undercut huge. Just absolutely huge undercut. But it's not one that you would like to buy, because who knows if this actually sells or not. And then next up is 24 gold. So I think what we will do is ignore this first person in here, and just try to get a sale from somebody that buys more than one. And I think 48 hours, 6 silver. I think that's worth it. I think materials especially are worth putting up longer, because you never know who's going to buy out of market. So yeah, we can we can do that. Same thing with the shadow gem, it only costs one silver 44 to put up, and potential to get two gold, 99 silver, 99 copper, I will take that. So what I'm going to do now is start this post scan from Trade Skill Master, and just let it try to do the work for me as far as the items I have in my pack. It will try to determine what they cost, and we'll see if it's appropriate. <laughs> okay, so overall we're looking at 
what appears to be around 3,000 gold, if I'm not mistaken. And we are at 33 gold, 86 silver, 47 copper. So let's see how much it costs to throw all of this stuff up. We were at 33.46, I think I said, and now we're at 32.37. Okay, it only cost about a gold to throw it all up. That is not bad. One thing to mention, and I did walk away uh, too quickly to mention it before, but our total value of auctions is at 3,460 already. This number is basically completely meaningless, and you should not track it or uh, be braggadocious about it in any way, but it is nice to kind of see how your total net worth potential net worth goes up over time. So I think what we're going to do now, after posting all those items that hopefully sell, uh, we're going to head over to the Valley of Spirits again and buy those snakes. 47 silver each, but I saw these on the auction house for at least like 40 gold for the brown and the crimson, and then I think it was 500 if I'm not mistaken for the black king snake, so definitely a lot of potential. We're going to buy three of each. While I'm here in the Valley of Spirits, I'm wondering if there's any recipes that are worth getting as well. Schematic red fireworks and schematic steam tonk controller. I'm not a hundred percent but we're we're gonna give it a go anyways. Both of them only cost a gold and the potential is there. And while we're here we're gonna pick up a blacksmith hammer for 18 copper. You would be surprised what people buy. Another really random thing I'm gonna do is buy some bleach. Maybe like, I don't know, 10 things of bleach, maybe even advertise in trade chat, selling bleach on auction house, get yours today. Alright, so we're back at the auction house now, and we could throw up the snakes just as is, or we could learn them and then turn them into cages. So I think I'm going to turn two into cages and just keep one of the current white items and see how that goes. Alright, so that's all done, and as you can see, two of these are caged green items, or green pets, and one's just the white learn-it-yourself item. So we're gonna throw these up on the auction house and see if they sell. This is a pretty funny post scan. Um, obviously these are all vendor items, and as you can see, uh, it wants to either post it at a ridiculous price or undercut somebody that is also posted at a ridiculous price. Uh, there's a guy called Pet Bank. That's not good for us, really. Probably aggressively selling a lot of pets. But I guess we will just throw all of these things up as is. I don't really want to get into the specifics of trying to undercut somebody by one copper when it's just a vendor item. Alright, looks good. That basically doubled our total value of auctions. And I just realized this is a soulbound item. That is a mistake by me. Whoops. That's basically a gold wasted. That is two mistakes in one episode. Please don't crucify me. Looks like some people are already in the bleach market. I don't blame them. It's probably quite lucrative. So we're gonna undercut them by quite a large margin. Just to keep up with the jokes, we're gonna post it for 69 42 420 yeah cool and post them all let's just advertise that we're selling bleach at quite a good deal on the auction house currently selling bleach at the cheapest price on the auction house by far get your bleach today sounds like a reasonable advertisement so i guess i'll just sell this back to the vendor there's not much else i can do with it so yeah whoops Chalk it up to another mistake. Alright, just looking for more stuff to spend the remainder of our gold on before we let everything sit for a while. Uh, beaded bridges. I know I said no more transmog, I'm sorry, but looks good to me for one gold. I think now I'm just gonna make a little vendor run through the drag again and just buy up all the one of vendor recipes or anything that can sell in the auction house primarily. We can buy all the packs and all the sacks, but I don't think those will sell very well. Looks like this is all able to sell on the auction house, so why not give it a shot? Another thing I completely forgot about is that shirts sometimes do sell on the auction house, even if they're uh, from a vendor. Yeah, I think I'll pick up some shirts, just one of each one, see where it goes. Alright, we're in the orphanage. Uh, which kid should we flip on the auction house? I mentioned earlier something about these russet bracers selling um, because I've seen them on the deal section of my auction house for a long time and they do look, they look okay. 
I think they look pretty good, so why not try, I guess? I'm not gonna buy any other white gear though, because it seems like kind of a waste. Alright, this guy has heavy leather ball. Everybody wants to make heavy leather balls, so I'll grab that up real quick. You have anything heavy? Golden necklace of battle? Sure. Sounds good to me. Alchemy supplies, alright, this is interesting. Free action potion, sounds good. And this one's rather expensive. Elixir of superior defense, um, sure, okay. Alright, we've got some stuff from the enchanting supplier here. Uh, and it's able to be sold on the auction house it looks like. I've only got two slots left though. This is a one of, so I think I'm gonna buy this. After looking through all of them, this one seems to have the biggest margin, so sure, okay. Okay, so let's start up the post scan and see if it actually catches any of these or not. Now the ones that say below min price, I'm not going to post because it's undercut by somebody and I want to be the one that has the lowest auction on these especially since they're just from the vendors. So we're going to skip, skip, skip. It says it's undercutting, that sounds good. Undercutting sounds good. Posting at normal price, so there's probably no one competing. Sounds great. Undercut, undercut. Below min, we're gonna skip. Normal, and that's it. So we're gonna manually post the rest of these. Pattern, red woolen bag. We only bought it for four silver, so yeah, I'm I'm definitely cool with selling it for this. Squeeze out every copper that we possibly can. Yeah, sign me up. Looks good to me. Shirts appear to have a little bit of a market. I'm not sure if anybody will buy them. Looks like this guy also went on a few shopping sprees. Okay, that's all the shirts. Uh, yeah. Looks good. Looks fine. Alright, so we're all done posting. We're gonna give the bleach another shout out, because why not? And, yeah, everything's looking pretty good. I'm gonna grab the, uh, one transmog item that we bought prior to going on the vendor run, and post this up on the auction house. Apparently 81 gold. It says above max price posting at normal price. That seems reasonable to me. And we are currently at 8,800 total net worth if we sold everything. But that's very inflated by a few dumb items such as bleach. Can we offer a guild invite play and level at your own pace non-swearing guild? Uh, no thank you. Uh, okay, the barber. No, I'm looking to flip items, not my hair. Uh, let's try selling a mining pick, I guess. Plans hardened iron shortwood. Sounds good to me. Alright, well that's all we can pick up, so back to the auction house we go. Get undercut, bro. Alright, and the undermine journal just updated for another hour, so I'm gonna check out their deals real quick. Okay, sure. We can do this. Consortium mantle for 10 gold. Sign me up. I'm just gonna run the sniper for like a minute or two to see if anything pops up. As I'm doing this sniper thing here for just a few minutes, I'm reading the comments on Reddit that you guys gave me, and I really appreciate all the support. Like, I'm a little blown away by it. I didn't expect that people would even like it. I wasn't very happy with the pilot episode at all, but uh, I'm really glad that people enjoy it, and I hope I can continue to put out decent content for you guys. Alright, so this doesn't look like it's really going anywhere, and that's to be expected. You usually let it run for like an hour or two, or maybe more, but... Um, so we're gonna try and look for some more deals here. We want to spend up the last of our gold before we log out, uh, that way we're being as efficient as humanly possible. Above max price, posting at normal price, that's usually the one I want to see. Uh, let's see, 10 gold, 98 silver. Okay, that costed a little over a gold. I've been out bid on Rugged Trapper's Vest. That was the, uh, that was the beginner item, right? Oh, wow, what the hell? Up to 10 gold? <laughs> we were at 3 copper before. Somebody else is looking at the uh, Undermine journal it looks like. They were just outbid on Ironhide Pauldrons. Wow, they are just really, they are one-upping us. Well, good on you. Wow. I did not see that coming. Sunrack Gloves. Uh, so it's the only set of Sunrack Gloves, and it's only five gold, and we only got nine gold. And I know I said I wasn't going to do more transwog, but I'm sorry I'm doing more transwog. Please forgive me. Outbid, outbid, so we got a bit of money back. And it looks like posting a normal price 75, that seems doable. Let's see, 6 gold, 65 silver, down to 549. Okay, a little over gold once again. Alright, so let's see, rain collar cap, a gold 58, and it could sell for quite a bit more. Sure. Outbid on blue overalls, man, somebody's just going at it. Up to 5 gold, wow. Alright, man, you can have it. <laughs> We just put in that rain collar cat bid and somebody's already outbidding it. 
somebody's really going for it, man. If I do it right now, they're just gonna come back to it. So I think I'll leave it. Well, they might not. Let's let's try. I'll bid, I'll bid, I'll bid. And we got three gold back. Okay. <laughs> and he just outbid me immediately. Okay. You can have it, buddy. How much did he upbid me to? Seven gold, sixteen. Yeah. All right. Well played. It would appear that bidding isn't doing too great, so maybe we'll just try to find an item for five goldish, maybe four goldish. That way we can post it and then just leave everything for forty-eight hours. I would imagine we can repost that. So yeah, let's do it. We I really have to wrap up this episode. There's so much content that I need to edit out. Trade skill master wants to undercut one sixty thirty-four thirty-six. That looks good to me. I tried looking for something to buy for a little bit, but not too much that you can buy with 2 gold, 80 silver. I ran another vendor check and there was nothing, so I think I'm just going to place a bid on this heavy mithril shoulder and call it good for now. Alright guys, that's going to wrap it up. Uh, we made a lot of progress in this episode, as I'm sure you saw. We made our first two sales that I hope you guys think was a fair deal. Um, and then we took that hundred gold we got and reinvested into quite a bit of things. In fact, instead of just doing a typical outro, let me show you guys our portfolio here in the auction house, I guess. So we have got quite a bit of stuff. We've got some twink rings, in interestingly enough. We've got some bleach, of course, lovely. Uh, some recipes, some vendor stuff, a lot of vendor stuff and some transmog and some uh, materials here so hopefully I'm pretty sure something will sell what is that like 50 items it's probably around there so something will probably sell within 48 hours at least we can we can hope so so thank you guys very much for all the support I really really appreciate it and I'll catch you next time bye bye